collectively, we have been able to move the agenda, but we still have a long way to go. In the economy, there's an illusion of progress. We have not progressed as much in the economy. And if we continue at this pace, according to the World Economic Forum, it will take us 81 years to reach gender parity in the economy, not under our watch. So extraordinary measures are needed, and that is why, Irene, these summits are so special. And because you continue also to engage big companies, you invite CEOs, men and women, because we've got to crack this together. We also still have gender pay gap. Women are paid, on average, globally, 24% less than men. That is a big problem. And of course, an overwhelming number of women who work outside the home work in the informal sector. 50% of women are now working outside the home, but 75% of that 50% are working in, in work that is unprotected, uh, so there are no labor, labor laws that cover them, there is no minimum wage, and they don't even have access to maternity care. And in fact, even those women who are in formal and protected work in some countries, including a very big country, have no access to paid maternity care. What it means is that there's a penalty from society from being a mother. This, these are some of the changes that we still have. We are calling as UN Women for time frames within which to turn the curve downwards decisively. We are saying in post-2015 to 2030, when we adopt the new globally agreed agenda, the Sustainable Development Goals, let us make sure that we begin to count down to gender equality. We are saying planet 50-50 by 2030. We are asking, I am asking each head of state in each country to commit specific measures that are game changers, that recognize the road that we've traveled, but the difficulties that, that we have ahead, but the fact that we know now where we need to focus so that we take full advantage of the knowledge that we have. I hope that together and with you, we are going to run this last mile.